Hello students, welcome to Tutitude. So some students are asking me about what is super node concept. See super node concept is a very basic thing we need to understand from a circuit. Okay? So when you are solving or when you are analyzing the network, so there is certain problem we are getting, we can't analyze directly. Okay? So that's why we need to understand what is this super node concept. Okay? So generally we will be seeing, the, uh, we will be seeing this uh, super node concept in the so nodal analysis. Okay, so nodal analysis. So why to do this nodal analysis? We know already so that we need to analyze the network. So based on the node analysis, so we need to do that. Okay, so that's okay. What is the super node means? Generally, okay, so for example, I'm just giving a normal circuit. Okay, so I'm giving one resistor here and here I'm connecting one simple voltage source. Okay, so and again, from here another resistor I have connected like this okay so this might be one of the network okay so it may be random one okay so this is not even given in any of the book also okay so just a random one I am just taking okay so I don't want any values also so just giving certain values okay so like this is 10 volts this is R1 this is R2 this is R3 this is R4 R5 and this is 5 volt just like this we have given so what is the nodal analysis generally we will be doing here we will choose certain voltage okay so let's assume the voltage of v1 here let's assume the voltage of v2 here because these are the principal nodes and this entire one is choosing as the ground node okay zero volts it is okay so zero volts means it is reference node okay so generally for the nodal analysis we need to choose like this okay how many principal nodes are there total three principal nodes are there principal means what is principal node more than two elements are connected see how many elements are connected here first one second one and third one three elements are connected so here first one second one and third one three elements are connected so these are all more than two elements are connected so definitely it is a principal node okay so what is this node so this is also a node it is a junction between these two so this is also a node but only two elements are connected so it is a simple node then what is a super node super node means let's try to write down first what is the equation for this node okay node equation node means at a node which equation we can write down okay so either kvr or kcl right so at a node we can write down the kcl okay so kcl so at this node if you want to write the kcl this current plus this current plus this current if you add these three currents algebraic sum of the currents at a node or a junction is equals to zero so this current is nothing but v okay minus zero one principal node to another principal node we have to go okay v minus zero divided by so what is the resistance in this path r1 plus r2 okay so the v1 minus zero divided by r1 plus r2 this is in this direction okay so now in this direction plus what is the current v1 minus 0 divided by r3 now in this direction what is the current v1 minus v2 divided by no resistance is there no resistance is there between these two branches so then how you can represent the current if this is not a current source so you will not get any current between these two there is no other resistance also so what is our aim means we need to write down the current here but this third current we don't know okay so we cannot write down this equation properly understanding why we cannot write down here one voltage source is there only voltage source is there no resistance is there understanding similar to this okay if you try to write for this also okay v2 minus 5 minus 0 divided by r5 this current v2 minus 0 divided by r4 this current and this current v2 minus v1 divided by what we have to give here there is no resistance no resistance means voltage source internal resistance is zero so we can consider zero resistance but the equation will not be satisfied here properly understanding you will get infinity amount of current here so that means you cannot write down this node equation you cannot write down this node equation understanding we cannot write down these two so why definitely between these two if any resistance is present or any current source is present then we can write down otherwise this node equation and this node equation we cannot write down okay so for this one simple solution is there okay so just for example see here 
one wire here another wire and here any connecting wire here two wires are like this just for example okay see for example here some current is coming okay so like let's take it as i1 here some current is coming so let's take it as i2 okay what is the current going inside i1 plus i2 understanding see here some current will leave definitely i am taking as i3 some current will leave i am taking as i4 see here what we need to understand so the i1 may not be equals to i3 like uh, this is 1 ampere this is 2 amperes uh, and now it is 0 0.5 amperes it is 2.5 amperes understanding but what it is uh, how much current is coming like this uh, same current uh, must leave like this or not like uh, i1 plus i2 must be equals to i3 plus i4 yes or no it will be equals to i3 plus i4 that means uh, how much is how much current is uh, entering at this uh, node is equals to that much current uh, leaving uh, at this node only in between uh, this wire is present similar condition here also okay so if you can understand this one okay like from these two wires how much current is coming uh, from there uh, same current must leave the total current okay so same current must leave similar condition here okay see this has one branch and this has one branch how much current uh, sum of these two currents is equals to sum of these two currents understanding so that means uh, it is acting like one of the KCL equation, right? So this may not be a simple, okay? So this may not be a simple one node equation. So this is not at this node. This is not at this node. We are making it as a combined node equation. Understanding? Node equation means KCL only. This is nothing but KCL only. Algebraic sum of the currents at a node R junction equals to zero. But here not one node. We have two nodes consideration here. So it, this, is, this concept is correct only. Why? How much current is coming like this? That much current is leaving like this. So that's what we have written. And the combined equation we have written like this. Here also combined equation. Instead of writing node 1 and node 2 separate equation. We need to write down combined equation. Like V1 minus 0 divided by R1 plus R2. V1 minus 0 divided by R3. Okay. So plus these two currents completed. Now, these two currents we need to write down. V2 minus 5 minus 0. V2. V2 minus 5 minus 0 divided by R5. And this current is V2 minus 0 divided by R2 equals to 0. Why equals to 0? Sum of these two currents is equals to sum of these two currents. Otherwise, algebraic sum of these four currents is equals to 0. Okay. So, that's what the node equation. And this node equation is called super node equation. Because it's not a simple one node. Okay. It's a two node equations. Okay. So, that's why it is called super node equation. Then what is this super node? Super node means the combined node we will be calling as a super node. That's it. Understanding? So this is the super node now. Okay. So how it is possible when we have to observe this one as a super node? Super node means whenever a single voltage source. Okay, you can observe. Single voltage source is present between two principal nodes then we cannot write down this node equation or we cannot write down this node equation a combined node equation we need to write down that is called super node equation understanding and that combined node is called super node okay so and even for the solution also we will get another equation see this is plus and this is minus right so we can write down v1 minus v2 is equals to 0 okay so this is one equation and this is second equation from these two we can solve v1 and v2 values okay so this is what super node okay so you may consider some things if any series resistance is present here then no problem that's not super node if any current source is present in series with this super node not there okay so current source is there means current is present so directly we can give that current if any resistance is present then v1 minus 10 minus v2 divided by that resistance value we can give that's why what is a super when the super node will be forming means whenever 
a single voltage source is present between two principal nodes then only super node will be forming okay circuit subject is not only the circuits we are understanding concept is there okay so behind every circuit there will be certain concept is there okay so don't consider like a circuit subject is easy circuit subject very simple we can solve whatever they will give so there are so many concepts that so many lecturers also hiding from you okay you have to understand so this concept okay so i am very sure 99% of the students are not understanding why we are writing this super node equation and how this concept has developed okay see current from these two is equals to current from these two so we are accepting this you can take anything okay so you can observe even practically also okay so that's what the circuit subject is more conceptual even our examinations okay so they will give the conceptual questions okay so this question they may not give in our examination at present but definitely this concepts will be useful for you in the any type of examination okay so anyway all the best thank you so much